Good afternoon, everybody. We are celebrating the Feast of Saints Philip and James today. We will recite the Gloria. And the intention is for Philip L. Shaw, Maureen Teresa Connolly, and Gordon Colony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of, of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, the gospel that you received and in which you are firmly established, because the gospel will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preached to you. Believe in anything else will not lead to anything. Well then, in the first place, I taught you what I had been taught myself, namely that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared first to Cephas and secondly to the twelve. Next, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at the same time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me too. It was as though I was born when no one expected it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Their, Their word, word goes, goes forth, forth through all, all the earth. earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the permanent shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their, Their word, word goes, goes forth, forth through all the earth. earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet there their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. 
the word goes forth through all the earth. Let us stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, to have seen me is to have seen the Father. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with, with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me. To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing his work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Philip and James are two great apostles who contributed to the spread of the faith in different ways. Philip is recorded in the Gospel of John as introducing Gentiles to the Lord. According to the book of the Acts, he was the first one to preach the Gospel to non-Jews. James, on the other hand, has been venerated traditionally as the author of the book of James and the leader of the church in Jerusalem. Both base their mission on preaching the fact of the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray today that we too may be inspired by their example. Let us pray. Lord, as we go to the polls, help us to elect leaders who have the interests of everybody in their minds and also that they will improve the lives of the very poor in the society. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, that we are of our dead. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, to get out Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of my sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The Pax Christi Prayer.
Thank you, loving God, for the gift of life, for this wonderful world which we all share, for the joy of love and friendship, for the challenge of helping to build your kingdom. Strengthen my determination to work for a world of peace and justice. My conviction that whatever our nationality or race, we are all global citizens, one in Christ. My courage to challenge the powerful with the values of the gospel. My commitment to find non-violent ways, resolving conflict, personal, local, national and international. My efforts to forgive injuries and to love those I find it hard to love. Teach me to share the gifts you've given me, to speak out for the victims of injustice who have no voice, to reject the violence which runs through much of our world today. Holy Spirit of God, renew my hope for a world free from the cruelty and evil of war, so that we may all come to share in God's peace and unit. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.